Welcome back. Last time on the Burisma Affair, it looked like the end. We had live coverage of a terrorist plane crash and an opportunity to buy hats. I'm sure you'll all be relieved to know that Melania will not be invited back to the Rachel Maddow Show. The Rachel Maddow Show. We're back. It's been a big week in the news, but everyone's still talking about the crash of Aeroflot flight number 66 and the fact that the Democratic presidential candidate's son was mm. on that plane. Even though our last guest was somehow able to bring us live coverage of the actual event, we have someone in our studio now who can talk about mm. something that's really interesting and important, specifically her opinion on how the crash will affect the U.S. presidential election. Here in our studios to share with us her insight on this is Washington consultant Karen Karenson. So, Karen, your thoughts? Well, Rachel, I think I speak for all Americans now when I say I'm glad to set politics aside and in this moment extend my thoughts and prayers mm -hmm. to the families mm -hmm. of all those who were affected by this terrible, tragic accident. Mm -hmm. Karen, we've known each other for years. And during that time, you've worked hard for causes and candidates on both sides of the aisle. But this story is different. You actually had a personal relationship with the candidate's son. Yes. This must be affecting you on a much deeper level. Yes. Well, Rachel, as you know, in our line of work, no matter how rich we get, we can never afford the luxury of a true friend. That's right. So you can imagine how difficult it is for me during this awkward political moment to act like I actually care about any of this. What the hell? Cut. Go to commercial. We can't. The controls aren't responding. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to interrupt this program to bring you special announcement. Someone call security. Who are you? And, and how did you just float down from the sky into our studio. I am Lyodor Tolstoyevsky, and I've come down from heaven to put end to all this nonsense and bring audience message of true hope. We are woke enough already, thank you very much. Why have you come to hinder us? Because the people need me. They're sick of lies, materialism, <sighs> deception. But why you? Because God and all the angels and saints knew you wouldn't believe them, but thought you might listen to me. Besides, Martin Luther King was busy rolling over in grave, so not available. What do you want us to do? Give up this foolish drama of history and simply leave. People can live without all the cash and prizes that both parties are promising, but they can't live without the truth. And if that's not something you can deliver, then you should all just Shut up. You know, I think I feel something right beneath my $6,500 silicone augmentation in my, my, th what do you call this thing again? Kieran, that would be your heart. Oh, oh my God. I, I feel something too. See what can happen if we all just shut up. It's not because you're bright that you will win this fight. Even though you're so intelligent and gifted. But you may be unaware that your arguments lay bare. The fact that from your values you have drifted. The hell? Who are all these people? How did they get in here? The guy in the tracksuit makes me nervous. Look, there's Melania, first lady of books. But who's that blonde chick in white? And what's with those braids? You decided at the start to ignore what's in your heart and use logic to distinguish right from wrong. Their souls you did not heed and now you cannot leave. The people with whom you don't get along. All the world, all women and all men. You know we had our chance and now we'll take our chance again. I come down from heaven to beg your 
with this song to give up this foolish drama and to simply get along. What's going on? Am I dreaming? This was definitely not talked about at the script meeting. Who are all these beautiful spectral people? Rachel, it's me, Boris. Oh. I feel much better now I give up foolish drama. Oh my god, how can this be? I think I'm f f falling in love with you, mm -hmm. even though you're a conservative. Well, maybe you just never met the right conservative man before. <laughs> Would you like to make out with me? Better yet, let's you and I get married oh. right here on national television. <laughs> yes! You know, Melania, you and I really aren't so different after all. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I still love you, Julia. Oh. I'd, I'd like to buy the world a Coke and keep it company. And that's our show for tonight, folks. What? You survived? Of course I did. You can't get rid of Hunter Biden that easily. Hunter. Just like the good ideas and practical policy solutions of the Democratic Party platform, I am still alive. And I want to encourage you all to vote for my dad, Joe Biden. And together, we will make America great again. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. See, this, this is exactly the kind of thing. No, no, he'll shut up. He's shutting up right now. Who's this guy? I'll tell you later. We're in the middle of a song. Okay, sorry. Jeez, give me a friggin' break already. <laughs> All the world, every race and every creed. The good, the bad, the imbeciles, the, the rich, the poor all need. The hope that's in their hearts is a world where we all belong. We can live in peace and harmony if we all just get along. Can we please just get along? Buy my book. Uncensored Sammies.version at www.burismaaffair.com and follow me on Instagram, Melania, First Lady of Books, for an illustrated transcript of this broadcast and to learn about other ways to support educational programming such as this, please visit www.burismaaffair.com. Buy my book. Also hats, stickers, track suits, www.burismaaffair.com. Better than QVC for shopping. Also on Instagram at Melania First Lady of Books. <laughs> <laughs>